Hello. Yeah, it's working. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to thank you for uh, every person in here to uh, listen to my presentation. Uh, it's, it will be very short because uh, my project is uh, a little basic, actually. <laughs> and then I can start. By the way, my name is Matt. Uh, it's a Turkish name, and uh, it's hard to spell, and I know that. <laughs> uh, Uh, first of all, who am I? Uh, I'm a 19 years old independent security researcher. Uh, I'm from Turkey and living in Warsaw, Poland. Uh, I'm pursuing my university education in cybersecurity computer science bachelor. And I'm also a WASP project leader and a WASP Poland chapter member. And then uh, I included the Hall of Fame, uh, these companies, and uh, I get the reference letters from these universities. Because of that, I found their vulnerability in the at my age of uh, 14 and 17. Uh, if you wonder that, uh, you can check in my website. The Hall of the Hall of Fame links uh, are in there. And then, uh, when I was uh, 16, Portuguese published a news article about a zero day, which I discovered and mentioned me. And uh, in this year, on June uh, 18, three of my articles were published in Aurelius' book titled. Uh, 1917, their application security professionals should know uh, collectivism from the experts. Uh, I want to thank uh, to Mrs. Yeving Wang and Mrs. Rita Fernando for this opportunity. And if you <laughs> look the corner of the every uh, text, you can see me. Uh, additionally, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to the entire Robas Foundation for finding my project worthy of presentation. Uh, I will uh, talk about the three of points of the, my project, actually. Uh, it, one of them are source of patterns, of course. Everyone no, uh, wants to know that. And then uh, types of vulnerabilities and past, present, and future. It's a time schedule. Uh, actually, this uh, project, uh, these data are generally uh, using for the FUS testing. And of course, uh, static code analysis and dynamic analysis, if you want to uh, get a different perspective uh, for your research, you can use these data as a security researcher. Uh, we can uh, exempl exemplify uh, this project like an atomic orbital model. Uh, the positions where the probability of the finding electrons in the electron cloud is the highest represents uh, the parameters with the highest likelihood of uh, detecting vulnerabilities within the universal set. Uh, for example, uh, I can show the type of resource. Uh, one of them are articles, of course, uh, like uh, since uh, 2007, uh, of course, I couldn't find the, all of the articles in the internet, but I am trying my best. And uh, actually, the different uh, side of this project is I collected the most of the data uh, manually. Uh, of course, you can find this uh, a bad way uh, because uh, most of the research in this area are uh, making with automation, and uh, I did this project with uh, manual research. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, maybe some of them, uh, some of you are uh, thinking that it's not the best option, but, <laughs> you know, uh, blog posts and write-ups, uh, public backbench reports, also I am a backhunter uh, in the hacker run background or all of the <laughs> uh, backbench platforms. Uh, also, you know that uh, the Netherlands has a law about that, the vulnerability disclosure program. Uh, and I used open resource projects, of course. Uh, yeah, I can mention the project timeline. Uh, I uh, did create the project in the 2021, uh, and then in the uh, two years later, uh, we passed that the OWASP Foundation, and uh, I became an OWASP project leader on this occasion. Uh, before the OWASP uh, season, I, okay, before the OWASP, uh, I get like 1,500 stars on GitHub, and then uh, I had the opportunity to talk uh, my, about my project in the OWASP uh, Global AppSec Washington DC. The first time uh, it was 
very important for me, and also uh, this was very important for me. Uh, with this first conference invitation, I received from Lovasp, and then uh, on May 17, I had the opportunity to present my project to the, uh, for the first time in my own country, Turkey. Uh, Hectric uh, 2024. It it was the biggest uh, conference in our country, uh, cybersecurity conference. And then within this year today, uh, I will have the opportunity to present my project to the esteemed participants. Uh, these uh, categories, as you know, uh, these web application uh, vulnerability types, uh, which I mentioned in my project, uh, they are, uh, which I mentioned, the parameters. Uh, for example, in the XSS, top 25 XSS parameters, here you can see a parameter list uh, ranging from email to name and date markers composed of those with the highest likelihood of containing one of the most popular vulnerabilities. Uh, the XSS vulnerability. Uh, I added a basic explanation. Maybe uh, some of us are starting from the scratch. Uh, and then I can show the SQL injection parameters. Uh, also, I have to mention that these uh, parameters uh, has a ranking primary um, table. Uh, how can I explain? Uh, for example, the, S the ID parameter uh, has, of course, uh, it has a high possibility uh, than the other parameters like region, new, main, join, form, uh, type 25, remote code execution parameters. Uh, here you can see the function to print and the model names composed of the highest likelihood. Uh, here you can see the LFI parameters also, uh, starting from cat, their uh, action downloads and directory paths as you uh, guess, uh, and also SSRF parameters, uh, ranging from the data reference and callback, and open redirect. Uh, here is also, uh, as you guess, also redirect firstly, <laughs> and the payment and callback points. Uh, I can uh, show the content of the analyze if you I, if I have to uh, show which numbers this uh, what does it means conf uh, verified and unverified data the confirmed data is uh, which I uh, detect manually and which I uh, confirm manually and the other unconfirmed data are uh, collected with automation. And in uh, these uh, points, yeah, I can say that I started uh, the automation also for uh, collecting data. And in the next version of the project, actually, I will um, connect the automate, uh, automation and manual research data. Uh, here you can see the methodology of the project, which I uh, created uh, three years ago. Uh, of course, research articles, the backbench, and the pen test reports. Also, I have to mention that all of the backbench reports are public backbench reports. Uh, maybe in the future, if I have a chance for the uh, collecting data from the private uh, reports, I want to uh, use them. Uh, and then, uh, modeling pattern formation, initial evaluation, and uh, no <laughs> open resource projects, blog posts, and write apps because I want to get uh, the um, full area, all of the area, because this, uh, this is an analysis project and I have to uh, show a, a correct information to the, uh, all of the security resources. And then uncertainty values, risk calculations, and listing, and then result and uh, the project. Uh, understanding the role of parameter analysis in cybersecurity. Uh, actually, uh, one of the many factors that uh, scientifically increases the likelihood of detecting findings to the vulnerability research. Uh, actually, it's a matter of curiosity whether uh, incubation projects will stand on their own or become history or sudden new security standards. We don't know that, and we will see in the future. And human brain versus automation, the question of whether patterns emerging from the manual analysis and of the thousands of data points are more successful than those generated through automation. 
and feedbacks from the ecosystems, arms services and companies aware of the project have developed alternative methods. Uh, for example, in this uh, page, Burp Seeds um, uh, generated a new uh, feature in the uh, Burp Seed program. Uh, it's, it's called Panda, and uh, they uh, did a computation about that, and one researcher, a researcher generated a, a code input with uh, OWASP type 25 parameters, and uh, Port Swigger congratulates the researcher and <laughs> they gave to him a shirt probably. Uh, also, as you can see, uh, there is another feedback from the uh, ecosystem. And here you can see the uh, repository of the uh, verb seeds. There is a BAM Daryl OS Top 25 parameters project. Uh, also, uh, an estimate researcher, uh, as you can see, there, there's a, um, article about the OSP 25 parameter projects and Burp Seed Bamda. Uh, it's the end, as I said, it, it will be a very long, a very a short presentation. I want to thank you again for listening. Uh, have a nice day.